Good afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to give a really quick update on a couple of things going on in the tropics. I figured I'd do video form since it's a little bit quicker than writing it all out. So let me know if you like this format or if it's easier if it's written. Um, either works well. So uh, we've got two things going on in the Atlantic. Nothing super um, significant to worry about, but just a couple things to note. We've got Tropical Depression, Fred, now near Cuba, which is weakened, and then another system. Um, it's a potential tropical cyclone, 7. Um, it's a wave that probably will become a tropical storm soon. Um, both these kind of moving off to the west. So if we look at Fred, um, this is a satellite image. There's a lot of convection down here over Cuba, but not much in, that looks like a, a tropical storm. It, it moved over Hispaniola here. It's moving over Cuba now. And all this uh, land and mountains um, and these, sub, these islands has really torn it up and there's not a whole lot left of it. Um, it, it. I'll show you its forecast to move into the Gulf of Mexico. It's a depression right now. When it gets back into the Gulf, it'll probably strengthen back to a tropical storm at some point. Um, at this point, we're not expecting it to be very strong, um, maybe just a low to moderate tropical storm, but certainly some rain is possible over parts of the Florida Peninsula and into the Panhandle um, over the weekend and early next week. Um, so worth keeping an eye on, um, but at this point, we're not expecting anything crazy in terms of strengthening because as you saw, it's really gotten torn up by uh, by moving over land. This is the other system we're looking at. Uh, this wave, um, it's a potential tropical cyclone, so the Hurricane Center is issuing warnings on it, uh, but it hasn't officially been named a storm yet. Um, it's moving off to the west, northwest, out here over the Atlantic, um, toward the uh, Lesser Antilles here, so it's still a little ways out. Um, if you look at the forecast for this one, um, it's kind of a, a deja vu with Fred, sort of forecast to move generally toward the west, and then either into the Northwest Caribbean or, or near the islands here, or maybe a little bit north of the islands. And whether it goes right over these islands or north of it will really determine what happens because, you know, if it goes directly over these islands, uh, even if it's already a tropical storm, it's probably just going to fall apart very similarly to what Fred is doing. But if it gets the north of these islands, um, the conditions are somewhat favorable. You know, there's some indication it could strengthen some more in the Bahamas. Um, so, like, if you look at this... Uh, Oops, I have a plot here uh, from uh, Weather Nerds, which is a, a nice website for looking at some hurricane data. Uh, you can see that some of, some of these um, forecasts um, are the ones that kind of bring it north of the islands here, make it a little bit stronger as it gets in the Bahamas. Um, so there's not a lot of the models doing this. Um, you know, right now, I think the most likely outcome is probably this, that it, it falls apart and doesn't really do much, you know, maybe just dies over land. But there's a chance it could get far enough north and, and get over the warm water in the Bahamas and strengthen some. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it um, in terms of timing. Um, probably um, by middle to late next week is when it would be in the general vicinity of Florida. So um, just keep an eye on it and, uh, you know, see how the forecast evolves throughout the week, but right now it doesn't really look like anything too much to worry about, hopefully. Uh, but we are getting toward the, you know, the peak of hurricane season, so we'll have have these chances on and off. Um, and so just, just keep your eye out. Thanks.